Hello everyone, Hermax here. This is the video number three about creating and setting up a PAL world dedicated server on Linux. In this specific video, I'm going to cover how to automatically backup all the data from your own server, but also how to restore this data because it's a feature that I've been asking like I don't know how many times in the comment, so I did it. And another script I created for you guys is related to the folder structure. Oof, it was a hard one on this one, but the folder structure of uh, Steam. And I noticed like a lot of you guys, even if you install Debian, you still have folder all over the place. So I did a special like tuto for you too. So let's get into it. All right, so no context here. I'm going to start right off the bat because I believe it's going to be a long video. Uh, we're going to start with uh, showing you how to backup and how to restore locally or to another server all uh, the data and save, you know, from your actual server. What I'm going to be covering here, to be super clear, is just between Linux dedicated server to another dedicated server. I didn't have the time to dig within like the windows uh, realm right now so it's going to be really like focused on linux maybe i'm going to be doing a four video here um, but anyways like that we're going to get into it right away and in the second part of the video i'm going to be covering everything related to the folder issue structure with team but even if you are there i already incite you to listen because now all my scripts have the automatic backup built into it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the script itself. And like that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in detail with the server uh, running uh, locally here. So first, I'm going to connect via SSH to my server. Okay, so obviously this is a Debian server. All right, uh, it's up to date. So if I remember correctly, I already done uh, this part of the tutorial. And what I need to do is log in as Steam, uh, go into the home folder. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. We are in it. Um, now I'm going to update the game just to make sure. It should be fast, hopefully. So everything is good. Everything is fully installed. Now I'm going to check what type of structure uh, my Steam folder have. And this is the important one. So please, whatever is the output of this command, please just watch the video to understand what I'm doing. And you will see in the second part of the video, like I'm, I'm just going to go over it. But please follow what I'm doing here just for you to, to get what is happening on your server before copying any of those commands. So here I created this little command here, you will see. You passed it. And depending on your uh, Steam folder structure, it's going to tell you, okay, you can follow the script. And if you don't have the right structure, it's going to tell you something like, uh, please use the specific script, so the other one, okay? But it's going to be super clear here. Again, I put a little uh, caution meshes. Uh, caution? <laughs> Sorry about that. Caution. Caution. Message here. And this is a link to the other tutorial if you don't have uh, the same folder structure. So now what we're going to do, we're going to fix the server log error by creating those sim link. So I already done that, but you would have to do this. If I do it, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have uh, some type of error or not. Okay, so it's good. They are there. Now I need to launch the server for creating the configuration file. So here you copy and paste. And what it's going to do, it's going to start the server manually. And when it does that, it's going to be a great opportunity to, for you to see the output of the server. If you have like many, many like Steam uh, client.so error, like just like going through the roof and you don't arrive at a, you know, like stable, I would say like execution file like this one, it means that you didn't do uh, this uh, symlink creation correctly. Another super important point is that if you go on the official website, they kind of like show you how to do the symlink. Uh, but the problem with the Steam link is that they don't use the Steam client.so provided by the game. They use the SDK. 
And what can happen is that if you use the SDK one versus this one and you already have a save file on your server, there is a high chance it's going to corrupt the save file when you restart the server. So be aware if you started with my way of doing things, like just, just stick to it. So I'm going to close it here because we know it's working correctly. And again, those messages are not important. So to, to close it, control C and boom, we are out. Now I'm going to copy the default setting in the right directory for me to be able to set all the setting of my server. So here you copy and paste and it's going to automatically open the right setting. You see they're in like pal slash save slash config slash Linux server slash pal world settings dot ini. That's pretty cool now huh, what I've done. I know I rock. So you go there, you set up whatever you want. So me, what I'm going to do, obviously, we're going to create a cool uh, name password there. It's going to be Airmax best tuto for pal world Linux. All capital, by the way. Oh, I made a typo here. Uh, you save it, control plus O, enter, control plus X to exit. So we are out. And now I'm going to show you the cherish on the cake. So we have our server up and running. So far, not a lot of things change. But you will see where I start to be interesting. So set up a service to automize the management of the server. Make sure all the commands below are executed as root. So we're going to go back to root. Okay, so we are root. So to do that, you just exit from Steam. Create the maintenance script. So here I changed it and that's why I'm going through it again. If you are using a whole server or something like you created before with the other script, you're going to have to do some, uh, I would say, changes here. But I will tell you when. So first things first, you're going to download this script. Create the maintenance script, make it executable and give it the right user permission. So you copy and paste there. And just for you to understand, we're going to get the script. Uh, we're going to put it in um, slash home slash team. We're going to make it executable and we're going to give him the right for Steam. Okay. And the name of this script is palworld dash maintenance dash sh. So you do that. And if you go on slash um slash Steam, do a ls here like that. You should see it here. You see palworld maintenance dot sh. Now you need to create a specific folder for the backup. So you copy and paste, and again, it will appear here, pal world dash backup. So this is really important to do it this way, because if you don't do that, it won't be able to work. Now, uh, to give you an idea of what the script is doing, we're going to look at it together. And uh, this is always important to understand what's happening. So what is this script is doing is going to first update your server. All the file from the server, each time it's executed, it's going to be updated. And the second one, is going to also, after making the update, is going to automatically create a backup with all the save game from your server, right? All the item, everything related to your server in a compressed file called palworld dash and the exact date. And it's going to put this file, okay, into slash palworld underscore backup. Okay, that's the first thing. It's actually there. Uh, let me show you. I made a mistake here. Ah! Okay, so it's going to put it there in palworld underscore backup. Okay. But also, after when it's done, it's going to look within the backup folder. It's going to delete all the backup, which are older than 10 years. Uh, not 10 years. Oh my gosh. 10 days old. Okay. So with this script, you update your server, the file from your server. Then you make a backup. Then you check in through all the backup if any file is older than 10 days. And if the file is older than 10 days, it's just going to delete it. So this is where you change the number of days, the stand there. If you want to do it one day or if you want to do it 100 days, you choose, you can modify it here. I suggest 10 days because what is going to happen is like if your server crashed and you lose all your data, well, guess what? You're going to have uh, the previous data for the last, ten, the last 10 days, okay? You don't need like two years of data, but that's just my two cents. You do whatever you want with it.
Now we've done that. I'm going to show you the updated file for the Palo Alto service. So we're going to copy that, paste it. And here is going to copy the service directly in the right folder, which is slash etc slash systemd slash system. Boom. So now what we're going to do, we're going to edit this file. You don't need to do that, but I'm going to do it just for sake of doing it. And you will see what changed. So those two lines, so those three lines. So this is a description saying like, I made the script. Second is like, those two lines are saying, if the server is not connected to internet, please wait to start the service because it could happen, right? So this is really important. I put it there. Uh, then the service itself is like, use the user like Steam and the group Steam. Uh, this is the environment variable. I just wanted to make sure that the executable was starting in the right folder. So this is what I did that. I think this is the correct way to do it. Uh, then you're going to execute the script I was showing you like two minutes before, before the server start. And this is really important because I was talking to one of the viewer and member of La Creme de la Creme Club, actually like someone who is actually a supporter of my work. And I want to thank him again for that and thank all the ones uh, who are supporting me. It's going to be a good segue. Uh, guys, by the way, if, if you want to support what I'm doing, if you are using this script, uh, don't forget to you know support me by subscribing to the channel, give a thumb up to all the video. But also, like if you want to buy me a beer, I have a PayPal, or if you want to go further and become a, a, a supporter of this channel and whatever I'm doing here, because I do a lot of stuff, to be fair. Um, just go there, subscribe on, on YouTube or on Patreon. Like you have no idea how much it helps. Okay. So that was a little uh, comma here, but you got the idea. Okay. So this gentleman was telling me, I want to make sure I keep track of my backup and I want to do it when the server is actually off. And he was right, right? Because if you do it while the server is running, there is a high chance you're going to have corrupted data. And because this service like kind of like stops the server in a, I would say like in a abrupt way, each time you stop the server is going to make a backup. And let's say at a certain point, stopping the server corrupt the, the, the save. Well, you're going to have a backup from the previous start. So worst case scenario, you're going to lose four hours of data all right so this is the ig so this line is telling you like we do the maintenance which means update backup and management of the backup then we start the server all right and this is the runtime and i put it at four hours this means like every four hours is going to do that so when you are playing on the server Boom, it's going to restart after four hours. I noticed the rollback is like zero. It's nothing. So don't be worried. And we choose four hours because at the beginning I, I said 12 hours. But uh, I had some feedback from you guys telling me that when the server is full, after four hours, like five hours, it starts to lag. And I've seen over like posts on Twitter of users who had up to 64 gigabytes of RAM used because they, they let the server run too long. I set it up at four hours, like that we're sure we're not pushing above those eight gigabytes of RAM. Maybe in the future, if the PAL world dev team improves their server, we might be able to put it a little bit higher. But right now, this is a recommendation, four hours. And also, it's going to be better because the smaller the time, the more backup you're going to have. Okay, so now you understand the file. I hope I didn't give you a headache. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, now we're going to install, uh, enable and start the service. Up, you passed, and this one's going to be a little bit longer. But you see, you don't have to edit any file. Normally, you just have to copy and pass there. I'm just showing you in detail for you to understand. All right, so now it's on. So to see if it's actually working, you're going to type system, ctl, statue, palworld.service. And you see it's active and running, and we have exactly the same message. So wait. Same image says that we had before. See, this is what you see if it's running. So we are good. Uh, control C to exit, please. Okay. Now we've done that. I'm going to restart it just to show you the backup. Okay. So because I started the service, normally I should have one backup. Okay. I'm going to go there 
and boom we have the pa the backup file with the date at the second okay and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start the game we're gonna create a character and i'm gonna show you how to roll back here we go so we're gonna go join multiplayer game here i'm gonna type the address of the server and i'm gonna connect and in theory i should create a character because it's the first time i'm gonna connect to the server okay so i'm gonna say okay and the preset we're gonna go yeah with this dude okay start the game yes and we're gonna spawn uh somewhere funny let's see let's see Okay, so I unlock fast travel here. Well, server is working really, really well. Like, insanely well, obviously. Well, we're gonna go to the option. And you will see the name is actually working. Air Max Best Tuto for Pal World Linux, by the way. So we are good, okay? And now, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna walk a little bit, go further. Get out of the game. Reconnect to show you like everything is working. So the server is available. Everything is fine. I notice I still have to type the number down there for whatever reason. But I mentioned that in the previous video. Server is good. Connect back. And you will see like I won't have to create the character because I already created it. Okay. And I'm exactly where I was before. All right. Now what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll back. And we're gonna do that together. So to roll back, you need to stop the service. It's stopped now. Server is gone. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if there is still data in the folder where the save is supposed to be. And if it's not, I'm gonna delete it. So there is a command. And if I go there, I'm gonna show you the result. I won't have a save folder anymore. I just deleted it. The point of that is, and you will see why, is that I created a command that just back it up like, like that. So what you need to do is copy and paste this command here. Okay. And what this command does, it extracts the, the file directly inside the specific folder for the server. So remember guys, servers need to be down and you need to delete the previous uh, file related to the server. And what you do here, you go at modify date here, like that. You, you delete everything and then you type tabulation and watch. You can choose which one you want to you wanna put. So we're going to put um, the the latest one so the one at 2043 here okay so this is time okay like this is this is the time like military time so it's me like 8 p.m 43 minutes and 40 seconds 14 seconds sorry and then after that you type enter it's going to show you a verbose like output telling you like this is all the commands we copy there and if i go and check again on the specific folder for the save up oh, we have a save here now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start the service so systemctl start pal world service okay i'm lazy uh, i do that but it's gonna start it and then because we're starting the service it's gonna update the server it's gonna make another backup that's why it's taking a little bit of time and boom so you know the drill we're gonna connect oh wait I forget to show you the best there. I made a comment. Man, I made, I, I'm, I'm so stupid. I made a comment, I made a special comment to show you to do it automatically. So, up, you do that before starting the server. And if you did it well, you should have restoration success. And then you start the server, my bad. But just check this comment here. What am I doing? Okay, so join a recent server. Woohoo, easier. Perfect. We're gonna connect. And because 
I did a rollback. Normally, he should ask me to make a character. Roll back, Papa. Okay, so I, I can play hours to show you how to roll back from a roll back and have a roll back, but you get the idea, right? This is pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, what I've done. The heck this face of this character, bro. And yeah, same server, but you can see we did roll back. Now, let's say you want to roll back from a server which is not physically on the same server. I don't know if it makes sense, but the idea is like you had a server on a specific IP and now you have another server on a new IP, right? So I'm going to show you how to do that. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect through another server there. Wait. Because I have a lot of server of power because I had to test all of those commands before putting them there, right? So we're gonna connect to this server. And this one we'll call it, we're gonna call it like Palworld server number one. So I'm gonna stop the service. You you do the same thing, right? You stop the service. Then you're gonna have to copy the file from this server you wanna stop, right? Like and copy it to the next server. So we're gonna do that together. So you can see like this address finished by 252. And the other one finished by 253, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna move the server from 252 to the server based on 253. And whether they are on your local network or they are on internet, because you connect through SSH, this is the best way to do it. First, you connect on your old server, the one you wanna extract uh, the data from, and you, you run this command here, okay? So you copy it, paste it, and look at it. I'm going to explain it to you. So SCP means SSH copy. And you're going to grab the latest PAL world save here. So same strategy, PAL world dash and then tab here. And you're going to have a lot of them. So I'm going to go with uh, the one at uh, 5 p.m. for example here. So 24 underscore um, 5 p.m. Okay, so now we have it. Then you need to enter the IP address of the other server. So here it's simple, easy, it's super easy. The other address is 172.22.22.253. And you want to copy that in your backup folder over there. So obviously make sure you have one and you already installed the server like I did. So you do that. Here it's going to ask you the password of the second server. So you type it. Well, normally uh, you should do that with SSH key, but I'm not covering that in this tutorial. If you want to learn about that, just Google it, because otherwise this tutorial is going to be like three hours long. Type enter here. And you see, he copied it and you have the speed there. So obviously here I'm on a local network, so it goes super fast. If you are on internet, it might take a little bit more of time. What we have done with this command, we we took the latest backup from the previous server and we send it to the new backup, to the new one. So I'm going to exit here. And now I'm logging back into the second server. And what I'm going to do here, you will see, we're going to do a slash home steam uh, pal world, wait, pal world backup. Okay. And normally I should have the backup from you know, the 17, like so 5 p.m. here. I have it there. So you do exactly the same strategy as earlier. You extract it, okay, and you and you delete it. So this one, I'm going to make it correctly. So you stop the service. Now you delete the previous server, bam. Now we extract it, and we're going to choose the right one. The one at 17, yes. It's going to verbose it. Everything is cool. All right. Now I'm going to test it like I should have done it the first way. First time, sorry. Restoration success. And now we're going to start the server. Oh, 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 oh. And while it's starting, because I know it's going to start very well, we're going to start the game. And we are going to connect. Okay. So this is the address of the of the server. And I actually like roll back and push, push the backup there. And you will see the name of the server will be totally different. 
and I will have a character, I will be totally somewhere else. And everything is gonna work. Hop! I'm level 6. Because this is the server I was doing all the tests before. Everything is there. Everything works. I'm on a different island, I already built stuff. And if I go on my option, the best Battle World Linux tuto. ta -da! Like a boss! Okay, guys. So now you have an automated backup system in your Pearl World server. Enjoy. Let's cover the other point. So the other point is actually pretty straight to the point. Can I say that? I don't think so, but I'm going to say it anyways. When you arrive here, when you need to test your Steam folder structure, you could have two di different answers. Saying like, yes, you have the Steam folder, follow the script, and you just scroll down and continue there. Or, you don't have a Steam folder. Please use a specific script here. This one here. Okay, it's here, the link. So you click on that, and you're going to arrive on the tutorial for Debian without Steam folder in your home Steam. What it does, it literally starts from the moment where you need to switch. Just to be clear, you already done that. You arrive here, it tells you, you stay, you continue here. It tells you, no, you don't stay. You click on that and you, you continue from there. And here, that's, that's the trick. I made the test with uh, one of the uh, viewers of the YouTube channel. We, we spent a lot of time together doing that, but it was working at the end. But you just have to copy and paste. I, I'm pretty sure the lines there are solid. Please let me know in the comment below if you have any type of issue, but you should not. And what is really important is like you need to continue all of it there. Because what happened is that your way of like uh, setting up the maintenance and also like restoring the backup and everything is not the same. Because your folder path is not the same. So you need to really like make sure you use those lines when you want to restore and backup because the folder path is not the same and there is nothing I can do about it now. But it's actually crazy to know that you install Debian and depending on the you know provider, you will have a totally different folder structure. It's just crazy. So yeah, that's it. That's all guys. Uh, it was a pretty long tutorial, but that was a part three of this. Uh, I, I have another idea for part four, but let me know in the comment below what you think. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up, uh, to like the video and everything else. I think we did cover everything. I want to thank you guys uh, for watching the video and, uh, you know, for the big boost for this pal world like server stuff. I didn't expect it to, to explode that much on YouTube, but apparently you, you like uh, the work I've done. So. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bisous, bisous.